Hi everyone, Amanda here, and I know I told you a little while ago that I was gonna take you on a seller tour. I did not forget, um, but things have been a little crazy here. It's a, it's a full-time job being a Psalm, um, but I wanted to definitely take you on a tour today. It is a little messy back here, um, but we are gonna go on a little seller tour because today is the start of inventory, so there's a lot going on. It's a little bit chaotic, but I wanted to show you our seller and what it's like to really be a full-time floor psalm. Um, it's not all just drinking bottles and having fun on the floor. Sometimes you actually have to get down and dirty, lift some boxes and count some bottles. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We uh, we take account of every single bottle that we have in house. We scan each and every one. And um, for us, that's quite a few. We can range anywhere from 10 to 15,000 bottles in our cellars. So um, why don't you come with me and I'm going to flip you around so you can see our cellar. You ready? Come on. So this is the press wine cellar. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of bottles. This is actually where we hold all of our red wine. Um, and it's all back here for the most part, but right now we're just in the middle of a little bit of a reconstruction. So I just wanted to show you um, kind of what we have back here. So this is our display rack. So as you can see, we have a lot of really old bottles. Um, those are some old BVs, some old Rajos. Um, these BVs here are actually from the 1960s. So that's a 1962 and a 1961. Um, as we move down here, some old Camus. Um, we have a 94 Camus here, some old Chapelet. Um, these are really cool. These are old Colgan herb lambs. Um, this is one of the first vintages that they ever made. Um, they don't source in that vineyard anymore, but it's a pretty beautiful bottle. These old Diamond Creeks are awesome. They're really, really stern, really tannic, um, and they are beautiful bottles after about, um, I don't know, like three hours or so. They take a long time in decanter. Um, but that's a little mini tour of what I have. Oh, and these are the, um, this was actually not this particular bottle, um, but this was the 1985 Groth. The Groth Reserve was the very first 100 point Parker score um, in Napa Valley. So that's this bottle right here. That's not the reserve, that's the regular, um, but pretty cool. That was our very first 100 point score here. Um, and then some of my favorites, these are some old Heights. This is an old 78 Heights Martha's Vineyard here. Um, and hi, Elegant Leaves Style Concierge. I would love to recommend you some Malbec. Um, Ooh, the Catania is fantastic. The Catania Zapata. Um, I'll get back to you on some more of those. Um, that's kind of all I have for you guys today, but I just wanted to uh, give you a little impromptu tour. Thank you for tuning in, and um, thank you all so much for subscribing and watching and seeing what it's like to uh, spend a day in my shoes. It's going to be a long day here. Um, I've got a lot of work to do, so I have to get back to the floor, but thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.